Marjorie Stoneman Douglas was born April 7, 1980, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Later in life, she eventually moved to Florida, where she became somewhat of a celebrity. After being a successful journalist, she became famous for her amazing activism in the Florida Everglades, which makes it more interesting that we decided to name our high school after her. Some, however, still see the funny irony in the school being made with the name after all these years. Yes, we were clearing out land that was part of the Everglades. In later years, however, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School has gone through the effort to make our school more environmentally friendly. I recall the way we got started with Marjorie's Garden, there were some old portables out there that were very dilapidated out in this field. And the principal and I were standing there at the rail one day watching them tear down these portables that had been there for 20 years or so. And just almost on a whim, I asked him if we could set aside any land for science purposes. I had no idea, no specific idea in my head. It was just like, hey, while we're clearing out land, maybe we could come up with something different. I didn't want it to just end up being, you know, another school parking lot or something like that. And as I recall, that's how it got started. And to my surprise, a couple of days later, the principal emailed me and said, hey, we can set aside this really kind of long, awkward strip of land. But it was a huge amount of land. I was really shocked to, to end up with, you know, nine, 10,000 square feet of land. And so from that point on, I got very excited and th started thinking of ideas, talking to other teachers about the different things we could have out there. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to think it's been a, a, a really huge success. I mean, every weekend we have uh, 30, volunteers out there typically 30 students coming out we have community members come out and it's just a great place it's also a, to, to work and get service hours it's a great place during the day teachers are starting to utilize it with their classes during the day which is just fantastic to see and uh, and we're starting to have events there in the evenings and things and that's really cool so we have a halloween event last year drama utilized it for their halloween event it was it was fantastic what they did and my astronomy classes go out there, of course. We just had one a couple nights ago. And it's just a really relaxing, nice place.